How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're gonna be checking out Rolling Line. Now this is another train game, but it's actually a model train game. Uh, we're actually standing in a model right now, at least I believe so. And what's so cool about this game is yes, it's a model train game, but you can actually go into the world and experience it yourself. So we're gonna start off a new game today, check out what this game's all about. Now there's a a couple different layouts here, but yeah, they're all custom maps. I may as well use the main layout for this one so we can actually see what this is all about. Oh my god, it's going right off of a boat. I don't know why I'm inside the map right away. But this is our, our little play area, if you will. We got different scenarios everywhere where we can go around and check out different trains. You can see there's another train over there. I mean, we got things everywhere down here. So it's kind of like an open world game where you can do whatever you want. Now, for example, I just want to show you something. You can play with the trains, like I could take this off if I want to. I could actually do a lot of stuff. But I could also go stand right here. And here comes the train in the real world. Now what happens? Oh god, that scared me. What happens when the train hits me? Oh god, this is scary. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But uh, it's still really cool that you can actually go in the world and it's to scale. I mean, this game is just beautiful. Let's go back out to being a big person. And goodbye, train! Alright, here it is again. So, uh, I'm actually gonna pilot this train, because I kinda wanna see where it goes. And yes, you can actually go inside the trains and tell them what to do. So we're gonna increase the speed a little bit here. I don't wanna go too fast. I don't know if we can derail a train. Uh, let's slow down. Okay, four seems to be just fast enough. And now, <laughs> this is... This is so weird, knowing that I'm in a model right now, but it looks... Really realistic to me because obviously everything's to scale. Oh, I wonder if I can flip those switches. All right, well, let's get right to it and see how fast this puppy can go. I don't know if we can derail a train. I'm sure we can try. Uh, maybe if we put something on the track. So it looks like this just goes around this big track here. We're back to the... At least I think this is the original tunnel that we came from. Now, actually, we got... Uh, oh, it shows you all the different rails that we're going to. So we're going to the Kakura Coast. And here we are at the very awesome place. So if I go out over here, we can actually see... I just love that. I love the fact that I can jump off and on the train. But let's try something here. So that train's going to be going around this whole place. Uh... I'm going to... Do we have any drawers? Okay, we got a drawer here. So these drawers have all your stuff inside them. This is a train drawer. I was hoping for something different. What's, what do we got going on over here? Ah, a house! Or some sort of garage or something. Alright, for science, we're just gonna put that right there like so. Now, it's not attached, so I think it's just gonna push it out of the way, but... Yeah, unfortunately, there's no epic crashes in this one. But we might be able to do like a head-on collision or something. That'd be pretty cool. So let's build a train of my own. Which train do I want? I like the green one. That one looks pretty cool. And we're going to have one passenger uh, compartment as well. Oh my god, there's a plane. Can I can I fly the plane? What just happened to it? It, it, it evaporated. So we know that the train came from that tunnel over here. So we're going to put this thing here. And I haven't done this before. So we'll see if we can actually do this. Can I connect these together? Um... Actually, let me see. Add to the left. Oh, no. That adds these to the left. I don't want another one of these. We're going to drop that off. All right. We're going to put that on the track. Now, can we actually... I can I can control it with my hand. And there, I actually connected it together just with the force of my hand. So, now I'm going to get on this thing. And am I going the wrong... Damn it! I'm going to have to flip this thing around. I thought I put it on right. I don't know much about trains, guys. Okay. Maybe I didn't connect these together. Let's see if we can... Come on, baby. Yeah, that's got to be connected. It looks like it is. Oh, yeah, I have to flip this. So we can actually reverse it, and there we go. It's in the right way. It looks like everything's connected together. So let's get back inside. Actually, I wonder if I can go. Can I go inside here? No, I'm just literally standing on it. So if we go... Can I go inside that? Yes, there we go. All right, so let's go this way and see if we can meet that other train that's going around. Of course, we're going to go as fast as possible, and I'm curious to see if there's different trains that go different speeds. This is, this is definitely a different train, but I don't know if the speeds are any different compared to the other trains. 4.6 for this one as well. Of course, we got to do the horn. We also got a headlight here that we can turn on. This is this is just so fun. And of course, the cab light's a little dark in here. So now we're going back. I have no idea when we're going to see that train, but let's just wait for it, and hopefully we see it soon. Oh, there it is! I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, well, clearly... Uh, we're a little bit more powerful than them. Oh, this would be such a great game in multiplayer. I'm not going to wait till we go out because I want to see this thing being pushed down the track. All right, and here we are at a different area. Oh, God, I just went through it. What the heck? What the heck just happened? They're inside of each other. All right, that is, uh, 
That's some magical shit right there. I don't even know what's going. What the hell? You know what? Let's just let's just watch. Let's just see this art. Yeah, I think I, th I think we broke it. All right, we're just gonna drop some stuff off here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And uh, fix this because we don't want to pile up already. I mean, we have a lot more fun to do, so we'll just take these things off. All right, I realized I'm way on the side of my room, so we're just gonna do that and. Let's see if I can... Oh, I'm gonna have to look behind me. Okay, well, that's that's the unfortunate part of VR. It's hard to tell where you are. But we have this thing. Now, this is like a controller, so I can put it to any train I want. So if we tell it that I'm controlling that train, we can also play with it from here. Now, I don't remember how to... Oh, damn. Is it just... Oh, yeah, there we go. We can actually play with the speed. And now I'm actually controlling the train via a remote like you would with an ordinary model train. So I thought that was... Really, really cool. And the max, once again, is 4.6. So I want to see if we can find a different train that's maybe a bit better. We got a lot of stuff over here we can play with. I'm just going to drop that. Hopefully I can find that later. Oh, you can actually change it wherever you want. I didn't even notice that. So it's got 17 different selections here. Let's see what we got going on. Obviously, looks like some sort of manufacturing trains. I mean, we got cargo. We got... I don't even know what that is. I've never seen that before in my life. You can also build tracks, of course, by the way, in this game. You can start from scratch, and obviously there's going to be a lot of tracks. You can also paint. You can paint whenever you want, so if I remember how to do this, um, you got to tell it. Oh, yeah, there we go, and you just tell it what you want to paint. If you want to paint the track or this ground, for example, you can. You can paint whatever you want. That thing over there? Okay, I guess you can't paint that, but you can paint most of the stuff. So this is... This is just such a fun game to play. Trees? I mean, of course everybody needs a good tree. Uh, and there we go. It's on the map. Got some super spoopy trees, too. Does that actually stay? Oh, can you actually bend it and be, like, very strategic with your placement? No, it looks like it's automated, unfortunately. I thought you could. That would have been really cool. Then we got, like, some dirt terrain. So if you just want to add some rocks and whatnot... Oh, this is... I could play this for so long. What the hell are you? Is that one of those jumpy pads? I honestly... I have no idea what this thing is. It looks like the circus is coming to town, and I'm going to assume maybe that's what it is. Oh, my God. Like, this is just... There's just so much in here. I mean, planes? Here, let's see if we can... Yeah, planes don't work. So I think you get the idea. This is like a model train maker's dream because you can actually go inside the trains and play with them. What the hell? Oh my god, it's like a little wedding thing, or a little a any sort of festival. Can you put that there? There we go. Look at that, I'm making my own weird part of the track. And the building's pretty intuitive, like you don't have to go all the way over to where you want to place, you can just put it wherever you want. Uh, whatever this- oh, I grabbed the wrong thing, okay, put that down there. I want to grab you. There we go. That looks like to be a gas station, so you can actually- can you rotate it? Yeah, you can rotate it on the fly, too, and place it wherever you want. Oh, that is so cool, and I think that was pretty much everything. So, unfortunately, I'm actually surprised there's not too many trains. We got- what is it? Three things of trains, and then it goes into the tracks. Is it turning nighttime? Oh, that is so cool. I wonder if we can play with the weather, because that would be really fun. All right, it is officially turned nighttime. Let's see if we can connect to that train. Oh, God. Okay, I'm surfing on top of the train. We should probably duck. <laughs> oh, this is amazing, though. I mean, look at it. It's nighttime now in my little train playroom. And, of course, I'm playing inside. Can I not get inside? All right, you know what? Let's, uh, oh, God. Uh, I'm just trying to get in. Damn it. There we go. I got it. So, yeah, it looks like we can actually switch the tracks, too. And we can choose which tracks we want to go on. So, yeah, now I'm telling it. I think, to go down this middle track, but if we flip it, well, no, that would just close the track, so I wonder if we would go down this and then stop abruptly and maybe derail ourselves. Let's find out. All right, I think we're actually leaving that track, so I might have did that one a little bit too late. Yeah, so if we tell this one to flip, though, and now we're on the coast, so it should say this one's open, this one's closed, I think we're going to derail it here. Let's actually go to the outside just to kind of see, and... Oh, did it actually stop? What just happened? It's pushing. I'm so confused. All right, we're trying this again. Uh, I, I'm on a different map. This is the Salt Lake map, which is probably one of the biggest ones. I think I flipped this one. I could be wrong. So I don't think you can derail. I'm hoping they add this to the game soon because that's half the fun of playing with trains, let's be honest, to try and derail them and go fast enough to derail itself. But... I gotta be honest, the atmosphere of this game, I mean, everything about it is just absolutely amazing. Oh! 
oh, I didn't expect that to work. I can actually play with the little switches. So this is if you want to rotate a train. These are usually at train yards. Then the, basically it's a big track that rotates. But I can just use my little finger and switch it. Oh, I just love this game. What the heck does this do? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, damn, son. And then it goes into the freaking boat? That is just too damn cool. Okay, well, this is a serious train set, guys. This is a real serious train set. Let's go over here. I want to build myself my own train. I still haven't done that. Looks like it's turning day now, so I can actually see. Uh, you know what? Let's use an old steam train. I think that's what this is. Actually, this thing is huge. I kind of want to do this one now, to be honest, guys. That looks really cool. I don't know too much about trains, so, uh... Yeah, if, if you guys know more than me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. No, no, stay, stay, stay. Oh, look at the smoke. I love it! All right, so we're just gonna pull this up ahead a little bit. Oh, I just love that it smokes when you move it. All right, stay there. And let's just get a bunch of these guys. So, actually, I think you can add to it. So, if we go over it... Uh, no, you can only clone that. So... We have to put this on, but the, the building's pretty damn easy. So if we connect this together, like so, is it connected? I don't think it's connected. All right, well, you know what? Let's just go inside of it and see if it is indeed. Oh my God, am I? Okay, it's just open over here. It's very hard to see right now, but still nighttime, but I just want to see if this thing's connected together. So looks like it's, it's connected. So I think we're good. So I'm just gonna stop this again and let's get back to building this thing. Oh my God, this is just, it's so weird feeling that you can go from giant to small. All right, so I'm just gonna get these things out of my way because I'm trying to... There's a way to uh, just add to the front of this, but I, maybe because it's the old train, I can't. So I'm trying to clone it. It's not letting me do it. There we go. It looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way, guys, and actually manually connect these things to each other. Actually, now that I think about it, we can just use these guys over here, right? There's actually a train over here, but I'm just gonna tell that guy to go away, and let's just... Let's just move this down the track. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much, man. So I'm trying to build a big train here, basically. And uh, I'm still learning how the game works, but I am having some fun playing with this. So looks like it's connected together. I think we're good. That's a big enough train for me. That's a very impressive size. So let's get back. See, I wonder if I can go in any of the passenger things. I was hoping I could, but... Yeah, when I get in, obviously I'm on top here. So I'm wondering, actually, can I change this to daytime? It's getting kind of hard to see. Ah, yes, I actually see a clock way over here. So, oh, I love this room. I need this. We're going to go to sunrise because I kind of need to see. So welcome. Good morning, guys. And let's get on our damn train here and go for a little drive. So, ah, uh, you can't really see it because I'm so, uh... Well, the back uh, passenger things are so big, but we got a big train here. So let's just make sure we're going to speed this thing up. And we should. Look at that. We got a whole train here, guys. The weird thing is you can't see out the front of these, man. That is so weird to me. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm going to have to Ace Ventura this one and just stick my head out the window. There we go. Got to do the choo-choo. Oh, yeah, that's the kind I like. All right, that's cool. All right, we're coming up to, uh, oh, I love that it's, it's kind of laggy, so they're kind of spread out, but they are connected together. We're coming up to this. I'm going to see if I can slow this thing down and uh, maybe come and grab some of these. So we're going to have to guesstimate how far we need to go. Oh, man, that really slowed down a lot. I want to get a little bit further ahead. Let's actually just go outside. That way we can see. Yeah, we got a ways to go. I underestimated the size of my train, and we're going to have to connect to this one and then connect to that one. We're actually at the edge of the track too, so we don't want to fall off that. We might actually be too large here. More, more track just added randomly. Okay, so I guess that wasn't technically the end. It just didn't load in. All right, we, we had to go further than I thought, so we're just gonna get back in. Oh, look at it. I was gonna go in it, but I just want to look at it now. That is, that is my little model train, guys. <laughs> I just love it. All right, so we're gonna slow this thing all the way down. We should be good. Uh, I just gotta. I wish it would let me just go all the way down. It's kind of got a mind of its own, it feels like. There we go. Now it's letting me go down. There's a bar down here. I'm assuming that's what it's referring to. And now we're at zero, so it should totally stop. And yes, indeed, you can hear that. So there it is. Now, I accidentally disassembled the train just before the uh, train switch as well. So that's good. Let's just bring... Oh, no. Did I just... Ah, damn it. 
So yeah, when you teleport, sometimes it disassembles your train. But we're just gonna move this over here, and everything should. Oh god, not not again! Just pull that off. And there we go. Everything's back to normal. Connect to that. Connect to that. Connect to that. And then finally connect to my train. So now, if we flip this switch here. Does it actually change the look of the tracks? No, it doesn't, but we should now go over to that one. I have no idea. Actually, you can probably see it down here. So yeah, it says, I think that it's going down this road, so we'll be going that way. We want this to go down this road. So I think we're good now. All right, so I got the controller. I wanted to actually manually control this because this is kind of fun too. So is this going forward? Yeah, no, I want to go backwards. There we go. So now we got to connect with all these, and then I think we're going to go try and go on that boat over there because that's not too far away. Now, this is a heavy load, so we're going to have to speed it up a little bit here. It's just there's so many different ways to play this, and that's what I like so much about it. You don't have to go in the train if you don't like it, but obviously it's pretty damn awesome that you can. And it's just fun to play with trains, man. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is a really cool little game. So that one's connected. Now we're gonna have to slow it down because that's the end of the track there. We don't want to go off of it. We just want to take our time. There's really not that much room for error, but we're, we're totally fine right now. It would be damn near impossible if I was in that thing, though, because of how long this train is. This is just amazing. So come on, connect it up. There we go, I saw it. Go forward! No, 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 no! I did the right. I pressed the, press the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, hold on here. Hold on. Slow down. All right. I think we had a little bit of a derailment here. Yeah, this thing's totally derailed. So I'm just gonna cheat. I mean, it's not technically cheating because I'm playing with a model train. So I'm allowed to do this. Damn it! And we're gonna connect that to that. It would have been a perfect run if I didn't do this wrong. So now we can go back. Let's uh, just get this thing some speed here. I mean, this is a big train, so it should have no problem pulling this. And we're just going to flip this switch once it's a free. There we go. And here it comes back. So just got to give it a second here. Dude, I love it. Look how fast this thing is. And now we're going to go hopefully over into the uh, train track. So let's actually see what's going on here. So it looks like, do I need to, I don't think I need to do anything. I think it's ready to go. Actually, no, we need to flip this one. Do we need to flip this one? I think we, I think that's right. So it should, if my assumption is correct. Yes. Okay. So there we go. And it's going to go hopefully through the whole thing. So let's get on. You know what? Let's just watch it from like the boat top. So here we are. And oh, this is so cool. Here comes part of my train. The whole thing isn't loaded, but oh yes. And we should be able to get on it when it comes through. And then we'll go through this whole damn boat. All right, there we go, and we're inside. Oh, God, this thing's a little bit too close for comfort. We should, if we look out over the window, though. Yeah, we're coming into the town. So this is just awesome, guys. What an awesome little game. So, yeah, this was just a quick first look at Rolling Line, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would obviously love to do some more of this if you guys did enjoy it because there's just... It's a whole new little world for you to explore. And it's actually very, very detailed, which is, I think, the most impressive part. I mean, look at the amount of stuff that is just around here. And you got to remember, I could add as much as I want. And uh, the, the, the options are really endless in this game. But yeah, once again, guys, this was Rolling Line. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys wanted to see any more of it, let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in this game as well, uh, feel free to put them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to uh, ding that bell if you do want to be notified of my videos because subscriptions don't really work anymore. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.